Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. It is the 30th of April 2018, and uh, just a quick update. Uh, this is the is it the 49th uh, Pursuit of Truth. The 48th one was a uh, was first was it was the only one so far that's been first broadcast on YouTube before it got onto Anchor FM. Usually, I put uh, I record them on Anchor FM and then I downloaded them and uploaded them onto YouTube. So it was a YouTube live event, 30 minutes, so it, I have actually put it on Anchor as well, so they, they both match each other. Um, but if you want to see the video, you can see that on uh, my YouTube site, John Doyle Poems. Um, so the first thing, quick update, Amber Rudd, she has resigned uh, last night, yesterday. Uh, she resigned, so it'll be interesting to see what happens now, because I suppose um, the attention will, will go to Theresa May. Uh, as she was the Home Secretary before. It'll be interesting to see how they they worm their way out of this. Obviously, Amber Rudd, she, in that committee meeting which I talked about, she was less than impressive in the fact that she didn't know about her own department's figures, which her own department is saying they weren't given to her. It just makes no sense whatsoever. How can, how can you run a department then? Or maybe I'm, I'm expecting too much of... Um, of people running the country. Um, yeah. So about the YouTube live event that I did, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it again because right? I, um, uh, I might do like a, a real live one. But um, uh, I also on Sunday streamed again the first 38 podcasts, um, which it had more attention this time. Um, but the thing I, I have with it is. I'm quite a novice in this area, especially when it comes to flat earth, and also science isn't one of my great strong points when it comes to actual details. Um, so a lot of what I'm understanding, I'm understanding from other people, you know, and I mean, I know that goes to most people on the planet, we, we, none of us are Stephen Hawkins or Brian Cox or whatever, not that I should... Um, that they are any more special than anyone else, but obviously they have certain expertise. Expertise as well, Stephen Hawkins did. Um, that not all of us can understand all this stuff, um, and some of us understand it at different levels. Um, so it's difficult sometimes to to like there was a person that made a point about um, you know the makeup of water and that I should attend. Uh, 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 was it a science class? Um, it is interesting how people, uh, um, of all the subjects that I cover on the pursuit of truth, which is quite a lot, I would always the ones I'm always worried about is the more to do with the false flag things because I think oh, it's a sensitive issue. People have died, and you know people are going to get upset about that. So I'm always very careful how I refer uh, to them. But the, the subject that I get most grief on on these. Uh, live events is the flat earth. It's really, really interesting how that is the one that people seem to have most trouble with. Is, is it because it's the most ingrained in us because of NASA's pictures? I don't know why. Because I suspect most of the people that are saying, oh, um, flat earth isn't true, are, are also people who believe in um, the conspiracies like 9 11 and Sandy Hook and 7 7 and the moon landing and JFK and all those types of things. I mean, originally I um, didn't believe in the idea of the flat earth. I thought um, it didn't seem possible. But it was only when I started listening to these things, you know, like curvature and bend your water and that kind of stuff, that I realised, wait a minute, yeah, I haven't ever seen any of this stuff. Um, so I think it takes time to get into to, to the flat earth aspect of things. Because I, th I, I guess we've been, you know, those pictures of, of the earth, have, they're all over the place. And now that I've, I see them all the time now, you see them on logos, you see them everywhere. <laughs> um, but one of the interesting things that, that I was looking at was um, about water and um, that being one of the key things, or, or the curvature as well, um, and how, how how is it possible that when we look at water on the Earth, it appears level and flat, 
and we know that water does, um, you know, is by a large level. There is this mimis mimiscus aspect of things where it slightly curves a bit. But I, I try to find pictures of that because I'll, uh, I'll I'll go into that in a minute. But um, I was trying to find, um, you know, how you know, searching on Google. Uh, how they explain, you know, the, the earth being round and water, you know, bending, <laughs> uh, bending water. And two things strangely come up, um, which is a bit concerning because you would expect it to be one unless they, they both fit. One is that it was talking about the earth being like a container and water forms the container, which to a large degree it does. Um, but I don't know whether you, we would consider the Earth a container as such, because um, it, well, it's not like a, a normal container. Let's put it that way, like a glass, say, which is you know probably what they're going to show, you know, like, or a test tube, which is the one that they tend to show, and you know that the water forms that that side of it. But um, the problem is, is the Earth isn't like that, isn't it? Because the water, there's the crust, the core. Assuming that this is all accurate, the core, the crust, and then the the, the water is there, and then uh, from the crust, isn't it? The the continents are attached to the crust. Is that right? And so that would make the container the continents, but they're so far apart, and they're not they're not like a glass. So I don't know whether you would consider that a container or not. The other thing is obviously gravity, that's the big one that they usually bring out, that gravity is the thing that pushes the water um, around the ball of the earth, the crust or the core or whatever, and that's how we get bendy water. But the, the problem I have with that, and I was thinking about it, is um, uh, the only problem I have is this meniscus thing, which I haven't actually seen, and I'm, I'm, what, what I was trying to do is I was trying to look at curved uh, areas where water is in and you know like obviously the uh, a bowl is one of them you know a round bowl is round you know it's not flat it's round so if the earth is the wrong way round to what the earth is meant to be the other way but still when you pour milk into that bowl the milk is level yeah so th this the, uh, stay with me. So, you know, obviously you could say, well, wait a minute, so the earth could be round, you know, and the other way round, you know, that way, but the, and the water would still look level, and that's fine. And I was looking at the toilet, and that has a bend as well. The bend is going more like the earth on that one, and it, and it twists the other way as well. And then the water looks level again. So you could say that, okay, so the earth, you know, that round, that water does... It, it fits there, but it, it does work as a container because these things are contained. So that's the only aspect of whether you could consider the Earth a container because the continents are so far apart and they're not joined to make that container. But the thing is, I'm thinking of is, wait a minute, but look at the water, the water in the bowl, despite the Earth's shape, yeah, the water is flat, it's level. In the toilet, the water is level despite the curve. It's level, and that makes sense, isn't it? Because when we look out, we see it's level, but it's level. So how is it possible that when we see it from space, it's no longer level, it's curved? Because I can see the water in the bowl, despite there being a curve at the bottom of the bowl, the water is flat, it's level. The same is when I look at the sea, I can see it's flat, it's level. But when you see these NASA pictures, the Earth is, 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 is round, the water is bendy. So that, that's where the problem comes in, that there is something I can witness that doesn't match pictures I have seen. Now the problem is, is we tend to go by those pictures as, as overruling anything that we, because we, we would say, well, they're the pictures they're from NASA you know, or scientists or whatever, I must be wrong and there must be something I'm not getting. But just think about that, just think about that aspect of the, the your normal bowl in the morning that you fill milk in. It has a round bottom, yes, but the surface is flat. If you flew, if you left that bottle and you had a good enough camera and you flew up high 
and you look down at that milk, would that milk suddenly pretend, would it suddenly be curved or would it be flat? It'd still be flat, isn't it? So why is it when we can see and we can demonstrate the water does have its own level, that when you go, when NASA shows us pictures of the Earth, suddenly it's round? That doesn't make sense, does it? It doesn't make any sense how the, what we should be seeing is, is, is flat water because that's how water operates. And you could say, well, what about the meniscus? I haven't actually seen that, you know, when I fill up the milk. Uh, I've seen pictures on, on YouTube and I've seen lots of drawings of it on YouTube. I haven't seen it for myself, but I, I believe that meniscus is, is very, very slight. Yeah, and I don't know whether that stays or it settles down afterwards like waves, I don't know. But someone can correct me on that, but I don't believe it's that that significant. But what I mean is is a kitchen bowl where you have your cereal. That that curve is very dramatic, isn't it? But yet the 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 water is flat on top, level on top. So the earth as it's massive, that curve wouldn't be as dramatic as that. So if if the kitchen bowl is not uh, it has still flat but it has dramatic curve you wouldn't expect a dramatic curve to be suddenly happening based on on a, on a smaller curve that over a longer distance so how is it possible those pictures don't match what we know about that kitchen bowl and milk and how the water the the milk is level when i thought about that it made me think wow what a minute that doesn't make sense does it I wonder if anyone would uh, give an explanation of that one. The other thing I've noticed with, uh, on YouTube live events, when you talk about, and it's Flat Earth that always gets the comments, is how people become, um, they ridicule you and become rude. And I don't really know why that is. You know, I'd expect people to become, like if I'm talking about 9-11 or where people, family members may have died, I expect people to be passionate or emotional and angry maybe that I'm suggesting that. But why are they so angry about me suggesting that you've been lied to and that the earth is not actually round, it's flat? Something that I'm still, you know, working on and all I'm bringing up is what I'm understanding from both sides and trying to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. Why do they get so, why, what, what is that about us? That must be something that we're trained to do because as children, you know, we, we just laugh when we're a baby, isn't it? And we got taught all these things. So where is it we get taught that if someone challenges you against something, you know, that, that you can ridicule them, make fun of them? I don't know if it's comedy, maybe it's through movies and TV, like uh, when we see someone who's an idiot and they're made fun of and then we pick that up and then we copy it. I don't know why that is that we we act in that way. Because it's not a natural react it's not you know, if I'm talking sensibly and I'm not, you know, forcing anyone to believe what I believe, I'm just explaining what I'm what I'm thinking, why would then someone sort of suddenly say, Oh, you better go to a class so you you know, making out that I'm somehow uneducated or saying that you flat earthers, you uh, committing um um, was it someone said that terrorism was it um, science terrorism or something like that? You know the you know and I'm sure you know if you ever watch other people's YouTube, you see a lot worse. You know when they call them all sorts of things. But why do they get so angry about that? What is what is that all about? It's very interesting how people react. Anyway. That's enough for me. Take care, take it easy, God bless and peace.